reserves. Um, Jockey's a great one to talk about this. Uh, again, I think Tom talked about, you know, those of you who heard the, the podcast, he recently got in a situation where he was learning, he was doing helis, and uh, he threw his first reserve into his wing, and then he threw a second reserve into his wing, and he hit the deck. Uh, and we were talking about probabilities and, you know, reserves and should you carry one or should you carry two. Um, reserves are awesome. They totally work. And I want to encourage all of you to do SIV and throw your reserve, but also be very mindful of where you are in the sky and you guys should know what's recoverable and what isn't and how long it takes. And that's what SIV teaches you. Uh, because if you're, you know, the acro guys, if you're below 200 meters, if you're below 600 feet, that's an unrecoverable situation. Just why not, you know, throw it. Uh, that has not been something I've lived by, and I've seen a lot of accidents. Uh, we had a couple really bad ones at Nationals a couple years ago, and both of them were totally solvable if they'd want to throw in their reserve. It wouldn't, they wouldn't have happened. So I just want to remind all of you guys that, you know, Reserves only work if we get them out. And we get in this mindset of, uh, you know, scratching and saving it and cross country. And we will all continue to do that because we have to, it's, cross country is about low saves and about flying in Lee and about flying in rotor and about, you know, uh, keeping it together low, you know. So, but there are times where, you know, if you get really good at recognizing wow, that's a different blowout. That's not, that's going to take some time here. I'm twisted or whatever. Um, and knowing like, okay, I don't, I'm, if I, if there's doubt, there is no doubt. Does that make sense? <clears throat>